Hello guys, I just want to let you know that Bubble Babes University is now officially open. Our very first course, How to Frost Wax Like a Pro, is available. So to enhance your customer experience with your brand, you want to make sure that you give them the experience of who your brand is, what you are, what you do. So, yes, you have a Bubble Babes candle here, but what about this experience makes it luxurious or make it stand out from any other candle? So you have your custom tissue paper, and you also have your custom wax seal on the top, so you're giving it a nice experience. So you want to do something a little different to make your customers say, oh, wow, that is so creative, or I love it, you, or it's just perfect for gift giving, just that whole experience of who your brand is, you want to stand out. So we are going to use custom tissue paper today that I received from uh, No Issue. I ordered custom tissue paper you guys so not only to pack your orders you want to also use it for other things so i'm not packing orders with my tissue paper i want to i want to wrap my candles with it so just a little something different so this is my tissue paper here um what i would have done differently since i'm using it on my candles is i would have got my logo on it a little smaller so um we are going to use this and make our um, candle wrap. And here is a little tidbit about um, no issue packaging. It is eco-friendly. So if you are conscious about your packaging and you would like to supply your customers with eco-friendly packaging, um, no issue is the place for you and they oh they have more than tissue paper they have tissue paper um poly mailers they have so much stuff rubber stamps stickers um you should go and check them out because um this is amazing so they have um packaging that is compostable and they give you this nice sticker <laughs> so you know that you are using packaging that is eco-friendly so without further ado, let's get into this video and um, let's wrap some candles. For this video, we are going to need our custom tissue paper from No Issue. And you'll be able to get quite a few candles out of this. Um, I'm using a five ounce candle. So you need your tissue paper. You need regular tape, double sided tape, scissors your wax seal and your warning label if you want to put that at the bottom of your candle what you can do is measure your candle and you want at least two to two inches of um, overhang for the tissue paper so that you can pleat it so you have two up here so we have the two I have about five and less than a quarter here and then I'm going to go down so about seven inches okay so the logo is about the size of the candle so we know that we want to go two inches above it and two inches below it so what you can do to measure out your paper is go up the two inches from the lid and mark it and mark it here and you can do it on the other side and kind of like eyeball it That's five. and then cut across this is about right here seven And once you get your measurements, you can do um, from the size of your candle. You have to measure your own candle because we all use different vessels. But once you get the size of your candle, you can write it down on this, you know, write it down, put it away for later. So when you know that you need to wrap your candles, you know the exact measurements. Um, and then you can pre-cut them so that you have them ready to go when um, you're making loads of candles and you have to get them done. 
All right, so I marked out my spacing and I'm just going to cut. And you don't have to worry about those lines. They're not going to show. So just cut. Cut away. And I think you'll probably be able to get about maybe four candles out of um, the tissue paper. And like, again, this is a five ounce jar. I lost my sunlight, so my lighting is different now. So this is um, five inch jar and this is the five ounces, a five ounce candle. So it depends on your um, size of your vessel, but you want to make sure you measure it out so you have accurate measurements. Okay, so you also want to make sure that this is in the center of your candle. Your logo is in the center of your candle. And so you want to cut accordingly. So I'm going to probably cut along the B. And I want it to be down the middle seam. So I'm probably going to cut right up here, up the B. So that will go here and then we want this to overlap. Right there we want to make sure that that is neat so we give it a nice clean cut so this is the measurement of our paper so we know that is seven inches down and this is approximately 10 inches across so seven by ten is the measurements of the paper like I said, in order if you want to make um, if you want to pre-make them, you just cut your your uh, paper at seven by ten, and you don't have to use scissors. You can use a rotary cutter. You can use the paper cutter. Now, what you want to do is you want to find the center of the back of your candle, and you want to add a piece of double-sided tape. You want the tape to go from the top of the jar to the bottom of the jar. So we have our cut tape, our double-sided tape, and we're going to just take it from the top down to the bottom. Oh, there you go. So we have our tape there. We are going to place our candle in the center so that the logo, well, not in the center. The paper is not actually centered. We are putting it, um, we are putting the logo in the center. So we just want to pull the paper taunt, 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 and we have it applied here. And then we're going to take the other side, apply tape, and we're going to apply the tape right here. Hopefully I can cut it straight. Okay, that looks good, but we want to make sure that our candle is nice and tight in there. And then I'm going to add the tape. If you need to do any trimming, go ahead and trim. Um, this is not straight. Well, it's not. I have a little uneven cut right here, so I'm just going to trim that off. There we go. 
And now if you want to, you can trim the top evenly across if you'd like. It's not necessary. So if you wanted to, you can take it and trim a little. You'll end up trimming the top anyway. So this part doesn't really matter if it's even or not. It's just a, a preparation thing for yourself. <laughs> Mine is a little off center from the label inside, but as long as it goes like this and they can read it, it is perfectly fine. So um, I could have did this a little higher, but this is where it's at right now. And then we're going to just pleat the top. We're going to start at the bottom. Okay, in order to pleat the paper at the bottom, we are going to not take these two pieces, two end pieces at the same time. We are going to take the inside parts right there and we're going to start pleating with that part. So you're going to need this to hold, this to pleat. And then you stick your finger inside to pleat your paper and then you give it a pleat. There you go. You just want this to be smooth on the edges. For the last pleat, you're going to pleat, you're going to take this end piece, fold it to the inside, fold it to the inside, then pleat, we're going to stick a piece of paper. This part doesn't have to be that neat. We're going to stick um, a warning label at the bottom. And so now we're going to take a little piece of transparent tape. You don't want to put too much um, just to keep this closed. And also if um, you're putting a warning label at the bottom of this anyway, so it doesn't matter. But um, don't put that too long of a piece of tape. You just want a little piece. And I had to take my gloves off for the outside part because it I can't um, use the tape. So just a little piece of tape. Secure it. Make sure it's nice and tight. And now we're going to do the top. Top is easier because you can sit it down. So with this part, we're going to start from the back side. And we're going to pleat. There you go. Top is pleated. We're just going to take a little bit of tape of the uh, trans, the regular tape. We're going to take the regular tape and put it on the um, to secure it. We are only going to use the double sided tape to stick it to the sides of the jar. And now at this point, you could either take you could either take a glue gun or you can take the wax. Um, the wax seal glue and you can um, 
adhere your wax seal to this i am going to use a glue gun i think and um glue my wax seal to the top of the candle you want to make sure this pit this paper is nice and crisp okay so now that we have the candle wrapped with our no issue tissue paper I we just take one of our wax seals And um, you can put the glue here on the back of the seal. Totally up to you where you want to put the glue. But just make sure it's in the center. So if you would like to see more videos on how to upgrade your candle or how to make your packaging unique please write a comment below and let me know that you would like to see more videos of um, me customizing the packaging of your candle so that you can upgrade and make your candle stand apart from anyone out there on the market i know that the market is super oversaturated with candles with makers so you have to have something that makes your your products stand apart and custom packaging is definitely one of them so if also if you would like to get the um any of the supplies that i use i will put them down below in the um description box